We have here a 2016 Camaro SS. It is a customer we got out of Ohio. He originally contacted us for a long block engine that we offer. He had already bought a supercharger and a couple other small parts for the car. Really snowballed into a big build here. So this features our 427 LT long block. We start out with a 4125 bore dart and sleeved LT1 block. Then we use diamond pistons, uh, the Cali's Ultra H beam rods, Cali's Magnum 8 center counterweight crankshaft, CID cylinder heads. So the valve train in this consists of BTRs, standard 660 dual valve strings with a TI retainer. It uses our 3 8 thick push rod to help retain some rigidity in the valve train. We also use Texas Speed's roller tip rockers that kind of helps remove some resistance from the valve tip with our camshaft that we have here. And it is a custom cam from Cam Motion Spec specifically for this engine setup. It really is a killer engine setup, um, especially since you can't get a factory 427 LT block. It really, really is unique. So it's kind of the top of the food chain on our LT engine offerings. So this is probably one of the most unique things about this car. Um, it is running on full flex fuel, DI only. No meth injection, no port injection. To achieve that, we have a four triple in-tank setup so that we never drop any pressure on the low side. It holds a consistent 75 PSI throughout the entire pull. Um, that consists of a standard Walboro 274 part number pump, which I believe is a 485. And then the two secondaries that kick on under boost are both their 525 Hellcat Walbro pumps. On the high side of things, we have Lingenfelter's big bore high pressure fuel pump and fuel injector connection 30% over LT4 injectors. To supply all the air to this engine, we have a 2650 supercharger from Magnuson. We also have a 112 millimeter throttle body from KTEC, a Rotofab Big Gulp, we have an ATI lower balancer with a 9.84 inch lower ring from DSX tuning. And we have the standard Magnuson upper, which is like a 4.3 inch, it's pretty big. So this supercharger pulley combo only puts out about nine PSI on this engine because the engine's so large and breathes so well, which is actually pretty impressive because at nine PSI, we're putting down 880, horsepower and 760 foot-pounds of torque to the wheels on only nine PSI on fully 85 DI, which is relatively impressive. Supercharger cooling on this plays a big factor. Uh, temps stay super within check on this. We do not see a lot of heat soak. So what this is, is it's the standard pump you get with your 2650 kit, the standard Magnuson heat exchanger, but we use one of the bumper ice tanks from Quartz Performance out in Arizona. We have the AN fitting adapters for the cooling that go right onto the supercharger. Redline Motorsports down in Florida makes those. They're really nice pieces. So we actually have a full cooling system for the supercharger on this that is complete dash 12 line throughout the whole system. Drive train's pretty simple. Um, we have the factory 8L90 trans. Um, we have a billet triple disc converter from Circle D, drive shaft and axles from GeForce. And we have a drive shaft safety loop from BMR and a variety of BMR's aftermarket suspension arms for the rear. And then we've got a you know, a bunch of miscellaneous parts on this build, obviously, to round everything out and make it a complete package that works well. So we have a full exhaust um, from Stainless Works, that's long tube headers, 
and full cat back, axle back, everything. Um, sounds really nice. Um, it's a really nice system, fits really well, flows really well. Um, we're pretty happy with the stainless switch products here. As far as some of the other miscellaneous things we have, um, we have an aftermarket radiator from CNR. We have uh, AMP's billet thermostat housing with the LS style 160 degree thermostats. A um, lot more reliable than the aftermarket LT offerings on the market. We also have one of the air vent P3 gauges. Super clean install. They're really great. They plug into your OBD2 port, pull any of the OBD2 information. You can also add ethanol content, boost, all sorts of other stuff to those gauges. They're really nice pieces. We grabbed one of Hearst's replacement automatic shifters. Um, reason behind that is you can get them with two buttons on the side. And this car has a line lock and a MSD two-step. On almost all of our builds here, we run Mighty Mouse catch cans. Um, we, they work fantastic. We're running a full Dash 10 breather setup through some speed engineering valve covers that have the Dash 10 bungs on them. Um, really simple, easy setup. It works well. So this car drives great. Um, it's really easy to cruise around. It doesn't, it's not too aggressive to go drive every day on the street um, with the big positive displacement supercharger and big cubic inch. I mean, you've got instant torque as soon as you hit it. So that's the one thing behind these. I mean, they're pretty traction limited. Um, the owner of the car here opted to throw a set of triple eights just on the 20 inch wheels he's got on it. It actually does hook surprisingly well, given it's on a 20 inch wheel. You could probably go full throttle on it around 50, 60, and it'll just spin a little bit and then hook. Anything under that, it's, it's pretty squirrely. Um, like I said earlier, uh, it does 880 wheel and 760 torque to the tire. Um, really, really good numbers considering it's only on nine pounds of boost. Um, we've chit chatted with the customer a little bit. He's toying around with bringing it back, you know, this next winter so we can add some port injection to it and pull it back down, try and get it up, you know, into the upper teens, maybe even close to 20. And I mean, this thing should do close to that 1100 horsepower mark if we can throw some port injection at it. If you like this build or looking for something similar, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call or email us. Our number is 269-350-9055. Our email is sales at strictlyperformance.parts. This is something we can easily replicate or even go a little bit crazier. Almost. Light switches. Light switches. We're almost there. Almost there.